Are you dancing? Don't do that. Seen her in a smoky room. That was my joke before. Smell a wine, a sweet perfume. No, it's cheap perfume. It's not sweet. Oh, it's cheap perfume. That's it's right. Cheap. Okay, there's two here. Yeah. Which one do you want? I like big butts and I can't okay. lie. Okay. We're wasting film. I'm gonna tie it with a flourish. Oh, stop, Michael. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to TCR, Sid here, thanks for watching. What's up, I'm Mike! Don't forget to uh, subscribe and do stuff, because he's a pain in my butt. I'm back Anyway, let's try that again. Don't! Hey guys, welcome to TCR, Sid. Mike. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, we are jamming out with our pluots to make some jam today. Some yummy, yummy pluot jam. It's one of our favorite things to add to our uh, shark coochie boards. Shark coochie boards. And uh, now that I have my own goat cheese that I've been making. Oh, didn't work. This is why we can't have nice things. We will have a fresh batch of pluot jam directly from our tree out here. And we are ready to make it happen if I can get him to be serious. But I'm I serious. don't know. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's make some jam. So the first thing I need to do, since Frankie cut up all these pluots, is I need to figure out how much pluot we have. Wash your hands first. Yes. Okay. Just make sure. We need this recipe is a four cup recipe, so I'm gonna go four cups at a time. Also known as one quart. I'm just gonna climb up here. Three. Three. Well, that's it going right there. Three. Okay. And then this will be four, that's 16 quarts. In case y'all are having trouble with the math over there. Hi. It's not 16 quarts. Four times four is 16 all day long. Yes, but it's not 16 quarts. No, you're right, it's not, it's 16 cups. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, one. So that was should, four right there. I shouldn't let him have a beer Two, first. I'm gonna call that 23 cups. 23 cups of pluots, and now we're going to add a cup of water, bring it up to 24 cups, and then we're gonna simmer it for about 40 minutes. I'm gonna add about 20 peppercorns, a cinnamon stick, and a couple of bay leaves into just a little bit of cheesecloth here, and I'm gonna tie it up closed like this. You don't want that stuff to get into the ingredients. It's like a bouquet of garni. Yeah, what she said. We got your little dangly thing like this. You're gonna add it down there on the side. It's very foamy. Get it down in there. Yeah, so now it's been cooking for 40 minutes. And what we're gonna do, scrape the foam off the top of this and let it cook for about 10 more minutes with our savory spices in there. Here we go, we're just gonna scoop some of this foam right off the top. A little off the top. Take a little off the top. We don't like the foam. Bad. If you leave the foam in, it makes it look like brains. It like does. That. It gives the jam kind of a brainy consistency, and yeah. that's, you know, it's, it's not always now. a good thing. Yeah. It's a team effort. I like big, big bucks, bucks and a can of lie. Those other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung! Okay. Um, what am I doing? Sugar! All right. Yes, dear. I'm here. To make the jam extra healthy, we're gonna add a ton of sugar. That's right, you have to, you got to. If you want it to set up right with the pectin and have traditional jam, you gotta add the sugar. So we've got 24 cups of product in there, which means we need 18 cups of sugar because we have to do three cups of sugar per four cups of the product, in this case, the Pluot Jamage. Let's put it in. I feel like I'm making Kool-Aid. Ooh, it was like Mount Vesuvius. It was a lot. Gotta get it all dissolved. While your jam is simmering there, before you're ready to add the pectin, you wanna make sure you are preparing your jars, getting your lids and your jars nice and clean and ready. So, I just found out that Mike actually slightly messed up the recipe because he thought that this little line that's inside of the measuring cup is the line you're supposed to fill to and not to the top of the measuring cup. 
So when he measured the sugar, he ended up doing like almost half the amount. No, like yeah, three quarters. And three quarters of the amount. But now he's measuring the, the pectin with the correct measurements. So this could be, this could be a mess. the downfall of society right now. This could be what we're witnessing. I don't know what's about to happen. It's not going to be good. Well, why don't you just add the difference of the sugar that you didn't yeah, add? That's but... like, why wouldn't you do that? That seems to be the logical thing to do. No? You could do that. You want me to do that? Well, doesn't that seem like it would make more sense since you're adding the correct amount of pectin? Then it's going to be, isn't it going to jack it up the consistency? Yeah, totally. So, fix it. Do it right. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it right, Michael? Mister, huh? Mister giving me lectures earlier? Huh? Oh, I got to do math. Hold on. Math is hard for you. We already know that. I can't even measure to the line. I'm about to measure you to the line. <laughs> I'm this tall. <laughs> so we just calculated how short he is on the sugar. He's nine cups short because of the way he measured it. Three. So he gave the correct amount of cups to you guys, but he measured it incorrectly. So now I get to rub it in for the rest Five. of his life. Six. Nine. Nine. Oh, 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 oh. Nine cups of sugar. All right, jars are boiling, clean. It's time to fill them. We're gonna pull these jars out and set them right here for the jam. Oh, that's hot. 212. I'm trying really hard not to laugh right now. Really hard. <laughs> failing. All systems. All systems failing. failing. Yeah, and don't do that. Don't splash yourself with 212 degree water. That's gonna burn right there. Oh, burn man. Blister. Why would you do that? No, I mean, For the same reason you put the wrong amount of sugar in and have been apparently, we've discovered so many things during this kitchen thing today. So many things. Well, we know. Yet to discover. We know, well. we know why your bread wasn't rising because you weren't feeding the yeast. I was giving were... it like a third less sugar than I was supposed to. Yeah, so good job. I really burned my arm just now. Oh, babe. I feel it like trying to blister. Well, you should put cold water instead of standing there. Yeah, it's too late. It's not. It's never too late. Never let go. Jack. Man up or woman up. Oh my god. How do you ungender the term man up? You say person up. Stop it. I don't know. Birthing person. You're supposed to say that now. Please, please. Y'all can check my math. But first, we got to take our. Uh, We don't even want to talk about it. We it gotta looks, take that out. It looks bad, folks. It looks bad. It looks bad. That's all we're gonna take say. Take it out. Let's do some math. Oh God. Here we go. This went so well for him the first yeah. time. Yeah. Per one and a third cups of prepared fruit, one and a third cups of prepared fruit, we're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of pectin. We take one and a third times 24, and then we divide that by 1.5. 1.5. And that's how many tablespoons of pectin you need. And then your wife did the math and told you how many cups. My wife did the math and here we go. So, <laughs> and it's like 16 tablespoons per cup. So we that's... just divided it by cups. We've got our jam here at a rolling boil. We're gonna add our pectin and bring it back to a rolling boil for one minute. And then it's ready to jar. Here we go, ready, set, go. Go stir it. Go stir it. Stir it. Don't let it be clumpy. Get that clump. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. If you see any clumps, you gotta mash them. Kitchen timer 100. Zero, zero. That's the whole reason we have microwave. It's the most expensive kitchen timer ever. Oh, it's steaming up my windshield. Gotta find all the clumps, gotta mash them. It's because you were supposed to do it lightly in and you dumped it in. I jacked it up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, this whole thing has been a big giant abortion, which is funny because it kind of looks like a big giant abortion. Plot. <laughs> you kind of jacked this whole thing up from start to finish. Stop it! It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna taste good, but it might be a little clumpy, lumpy. It might look like brains. It might not be sweet enough, but it looks syrupy now, so that's a good sign. All right, time to pour it, right? Oh, there's so many lumps in here. Oh my God, Michael. It's because you didn't follow directions. You don't even know what directions are. I know what the directions are. I remember you're supposed to like shake it in lightly. It hasn't been that long since we made jam or jelly. I don't know why you're struggle busting it so hard today. That's a pit. 
Frankie missed a pit. That's what you get when you let the 11 year old take the pits out. You get a pit. It's not all bad right. though. Turn Only the one heat pit off. out of all that. I say she still gets a gold star. Nah. Shots, shots, shots. Oh. What are you even doing? Shots. So once you got that pectin mixed in and it's boiled again for another minute, now it's time to fill those jars. You want to leave a little bit of headspace. This is going to stain my good towels, isn't it? Oh yeah, totally. Why are you using the good towel? Michael. Calm down. Never. This is why we can't have nice things. This is exactly why we can't have nice things, Michael. This is when you should use that term, but you failed. I, uh, I, had, to, I had to fill it in for you. Because I get so disgusted by having to say it all the time. You know what I get so disgusted by? Your face. See? I knew that was coming too. You gotta wipe the rims with some vinegar, okay? Because you know you got some plu you got some jam on the rims, and that will make the lids not stick. And botulism. Mm. Bacteria. Sure. Rabies. Definitely not rabies. COVID. Probably not. Stop it with COVID. <laughs> Syphilis. Yeah, maybe, actually. All right, so this is all wiped off now. I'm gonna put the lids on. Make it happy, happy, happy. Okay, now you put the O-rings on. And pop off other lids because... Where'd they go? I don't know, dude. Okay. There it is. Hot mess express over here. There we go. Choo-choo. Finger tight. I'll let him do that. It burns me every time. Hot. I have sensitive little digits. Hey. Now we gotta put the jars back in the water. Just like so. And then how long do they have to process for? Like 10 minutes. Like 10 minutes or 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. And with the lid on? Yeah, at a boil. Once it gets back up to a boil, that's when you start the 10 minutes? Yeah. There we go. Folks, you heard it here first. I'm gonna be sending you my bill for... This looks like it was involved in a serial killing. My poor towel. You might be involved in serial killing before this night's over. Yeah, well, wouldn't be the first time. I think there's too much water in there. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it's literally gonna boil over. <gasps> I don't want to play this game anymore. I can't believe him. Flinging, boiling, literally boiling hot water at me. Hey, when the camera crew gets in the way, they get dude. This is not National Geographic. I'm just saying. Mike's busy destroying my kitchen, but the timer's about to go off. And he is going to start pulling these jars out when the timer goes off. That means our 10 minutes of process. Oh, oh, wait, 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 six. Five, four, three, two, one. There it is. Hot in here, you guys have no idea. I'm dying right now. So you can make jam out of just about anything. We've done uh, grapes, which is more of a jelly that we've done, but you can do peach, you can do, I mean, you name it, you can pretty much do it um, in a jelly form. If you've got some fruit trees on your property, or berries and things like that. Some things need more uh, acid added to them. You just kind of have to look up depending on what fruit you're doing. You're gonna leave these on the counter overnight to make sure that they- You hear them popping? Yeah, pop, I hear them pop, popping. Pop. So that popping means that they're actually sealed. You want that popping noise. They're gonna let sit on the counter overnight. Just let them kind of cool down basically. Uh, you don't wanna be sticking them, moving them around until after they've cooled and sealed. So let them cool and seal. These will be shelf stable. Um, for about a year to two years, uh, depending. You just kind of keep an eye on them. And then uh, the ones that you are not processing, that you're just sticking in the fridge, you kind of want to use those up within a week or two. Once these are done popping and sealed, then you're ready to go. And the next day, you can go ahead and put them on your prepper shelf. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications. And don't forget that recipe, the correct recipe, is down in the description. Hello. I gotta make a recipe? I gotta remember what I just did? Best of luck to you. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Cut.